Hi everybody, Dr. Emily here from the Evidence-Based Fitness Academy. I want to take a few moments to speak to you about the concept of fascial tensioning. Now this is a concept that we're going to be introducing into all of our Barefoot Training Specialist certifications starting in 2016. By tapping into fascial tensioning, you're actually going to improve your proprioceptive awareness in all of the joints. Even though we speak a lot about barefoot training in the foot and foot to core sequencing in EBFA education, in 2016 we're going to start expanding into the hand and talking about grip strength and foot, sorry, hand to shoulder stability as well as hand shoulder core stability. So this video we're going to talk about how we can use fascial tensioning to actually stabilize our shoulder better in a plank position. I'm going to show you both the push-up plank as well as the side plank. So, we must assume our push-up plank position. Very important to note that our shoulders in a push-up plank should be in an externally rotated position. By externally rotating your shoulders, you put your scapula in a more stable position. So this rotation that I'm doing is not happening in the elbow, it's actually happening all the way up into the shoulder, and it's that external rotation that we want. What we wanna do is we wanna start in a strong push-up plank position. Shoulders over your elbows, over your wrist, really spread those fingers and then externally rotate your shoulders. You want to then bring it up into your push-up plank position, but maintain that externally rotated position. So now to tap into our fascial system and this fascial tensioning, you want to push the tips of the fingers down into the ground. As I do that, I just transferred tension or tensegrity throughout my body, but particularly in my arms, all the way into my shoulders. So I actually feel stronger or more connected in this position when I have the rooting of my digits down into the ground. Perfect. The way that we're going to take that into a side plank is going to be the exact same thing. So if we are here, we want to maintain that same thing. So you don't want to do a side plank with the shoulder in an internally rotated position. You want to start by externally rotating the shoulder, which protects the scapula and the shoulder joint. Shoulder is over elbow, over wrist, and then you're going to bring it up into the side plank position. Exact same thing. Push the tips of the fingers down into the ground.